<sighs> What's up, everybody? The library has long since been a, an institute of learning, personal growth. So has schools. And the schools have failed us because these kids today ain't learned a damn thing. <sighs> Hello, friends. Once again, we're going to open up another discussion. We're going to have us a little conversation. Now, ooh, that's a nice car. Anyway, not to get sidetracked. It was an old classic car, like a 57 Thunderbird, I think it was. Anyway. So, I'm going crazy. I go from the car to the house. From the car to the house. I drive around in the car, but I stay in the car. I get out to go pump some gas, go to the bathroom, buy some snacks, toilet paper, sanitizer if I can find it. You know, essentials. Other than that, I'm in the car. So, while doing nothing, but watching YouTube and being on the internet in general, the latest news, if you can call it that, is this TikTok thing. Oh my goodness. Everybody's got an opinion about the TikTok videos. Videos. I said videos. Because this is a, this is not the first time that I have heard that some little white girl has offended the black community. How can I put this gently? If we were to tie you up, snatch your mom and daddy out their house, beat your daddy with a whip, rape your mama right there in front of you, You'd be pretty darn angry. Oh, and by the way, the police won't do anything about it because they don't want to get involved. That's that because you know that's happening on your property. You know, if it was out in the street, then you know. But since it's at on the property, you know, the the judges and lawyers and other politicians, they, they're not going to get involved because they're doing the same thing. So, you know, can't really tell on you if they're doing the same thing. So now you're mad. Now you're feeling some type of way because you feel degraded as a human being. But then you find out that the law says you're not even a real human being. But how can that be, you say? I got fingers. I got two eyes. I got not two nostrils, teeth, lips, ears. How can I not be a human? What, what qualifies as human? I can think. I'm capable of learning. So why aren't I a human being? You say to yourself. You're not a human being because society says you're not a human being. But then these are the same people that go to church and pray to God for a good harvest. That everything in their life goes well. But that same Bible that they go to church and read also says treat people like you want to be treated. So does that mean that you should go out and start beating people and snatching people out of their houses in the middle of the night, putting strapping cotton gins to their throat and throwing them in the river? Does that mean you 
walk down the street and kill an a innocent kid just coming from the store with a bag of Skittles? Does that mean you kill an innocent kid just trying to get a, a carton of milk? Let's ponder that. Better yet, let's review history for a minute. So, on the whole, on the whole, blacks in America, and I'm really starting to hate the word black. Not hate it because, because it's a word. Hate it as it's been used to describe see what I'm saying black now I'm not saying that I'm not proud to be black technically I'm brown I'm not black but in my community we have such a wide arrangement of color tones from the darkest of night to light bright so I don't feel like being called black is inclusive of the whole African diaspora as they say no I'm not feeling that now the word negro not nigga nigga is a slang term and nigger is a racial term there's a difference. This channel is about education, educating the ignorant. So, nigger is a term used by racist white people to refer to anyone of a darker skin, specifically of those people of African origins. Nigga, nigga, is a slang term used in poor communities, mostly, to describe a friend or an attitude. One might say, oh man, Joe, I ain't seen you in a about a minute, man. How you been? Like, y'all, man, y'all don't know. This was my nigga growing up. He always had my back. When you use it like that, it's a term of affection, camaraderie. That nigga had my back. He's the, the person's not using it to, to say he's a bad person. He's using it as a term of affection. He's using it to say that this person was good to him. This person was a friend when he needed a friend. He helped him out. But that is a quote unquote black term. Well, I don't understand. If it's just a word, then why can't I say it? And that's what I hear. I hear people say, well, if it's just a word, then why come I can't say it? Okay. You want to know why you can't say it? How do I want to explain this to you all? Ignorant people. The reason why you can't say it, Sally, Becky, Jonathan, Kent, The reason why you can't say it is because your ancestors literally robbed us of everything we have. So whenever we develop, redevelop something, no matter how minute it might be, it's ours. And we, as Negroes, we decide when you can say that. And of course, you have those, as the white people like to call them, turncoats. 
Well, as a black person, you shouldn't be saying that. That's why these white people ain't got respect for us now. Stop, stop, stop. White folks, in general, have never had respect for us. Otherwise, they wouldn't rape our ancestors. They wouldn't beat us and whipped us and sold us into slavery. Now, that we got the history lesson out of the way, back to this TikTok thing. <sighs> How do I feel about it? I've seen a lot of video. I can't help but see a lot of videos about it. Because every time I go to my, my YouTube page to look at videos, sooner or later it comes up on my feed. Because everybody wants to hear, wants to know what happened on TikTok. That, that, that is the Google YouTube algorithm. Whatever's most popular at the time, that's what get pushes through the feed. Okay, so the first incident I heard about, some little black girl created a dance, it went viral, some little white girl copied it, and when they asked her about it, she took full credit. Did not mention the fact that she saw somebody else doing it who saw a black girl doing it. Heck, for all I know, she probably was the one that saw the black girl doing it and just copied it herself. Either way, the person that created the dance was a young black teenager. No credit. No credit. No shout out. No nothing. But you'll get, you'll get people all day long saying how Racism is dead. No such thing. Who would you address in with that? Because it's alive and well. See, the thing is, ignorant people, and when I say ignorant people, I mean ignorant black people, ignorant white people. The thing is, Racism will never die because you still have older people who were around, who grew up indoctrinated into racism. Racism itself has to be taught. Okay? That's like I did a video just to divert just a little bit. I did a video a while back and it was about religion, the belief in God versus the, uh, I can't think of the word I want to use right now, but the basically what I said in the video was that superstition, that's what it was. The belief in God versus superstition. So, in the video, I addressed the fact that a lot of people believe in God, but at the same time, they're superstitious. However, if you even read some of the Bible, you don't have to be a Bible scholar. Just pick up the book, open up to a page, and just start reading. And try to understand what it's saying. If God is the ultimate power and Jesus is the manifestation of that power, then why are you afraid of spilling salt? Why are you panicking if somebody mistakenly sweeps your foot? That's a superstitious pagan belief that black people for some strange reason have held on to for generations. You can't have both. I would love to be in church on a on a on a Wednesday on Bible study and accidentally sweep somebody's feet. 
just to see their reaction. You're in the house of God. God is your ultimate protection. So you mean to tell me that you going to give this broom? <laughs> you going to give a broom more power than you give to God? So you don't believe in God is what you're telling me. Ultimately, you're just there because you like to congregate and you don't have to worry about the police coming, messing with you. I don't get it. Which one is it? You know the stuff. You've heard about, about paganism, but you try to include paganism into your modern religion. You can't have it both ways. You can't. How can you face your enemy when you can't even face yourself? We do, we as a community of Negroes, we do the stupidest things. We really do. But then we want to sit up and talk about people outside of our culture when they do stuff to us. We talk about them, but we don't do nothing about it. We don't do nothing to change it. It's going to keep happening. Little black kids are going to get ran down, ran over by little white kids. It's just just that simple. And it's not like we don't have well-to-do black people. You know, we have lots of well-to-do black people. And you would think one would one might think that, you know, one of these well to do black people might say, you know what, that's messed up that their kid got that raw deal like that. Let me investigate. Let me see what I can do to help this girl out. You know. Maybe if she got some other talents, you know, we can cultivate her talents and, and you know, make her a movie star or at least a dancer in a in a show. But they do nothing. They do nothing. And even even when they do do something, you don't hear about it. You know why? Because a little thing called white media. White media. I was watching some video I was watching and somebody was interviewing Russell Simmons. I know that's a touchy spot for some of y'all. Calm down. Calm down. So he was saying that nobody black pushes the buttons. I'm like, huh? What? It's a lot of people in, a lot of black people in positions of power. But then I kind of rewinded it and I listened to it again. Well, okay. So I kind of blew it off. But then a couple of weeks later, I heard the same thing, something similar from somebody else. And what happened? Google re- pushed that that same video with Russell Simmons to the top of my feed because I was watching that other video. So I listened to it again. I got it. I got it. I completely understand what he's saying. Anybody that has great power over the masses is not black. Reason being is because white mainstream society is not going to let black people have that much power. The only way that we'll ever have that much power is is within our own communities. And we're going to have to fight for that. We got to fight the ignorance, the ignorant black people that's going to try to tear us down. Then on top of that, we got to fight the ignorant white people that don't want to see us come up. And sometimes they are working with the ignorant black people. How many times have we heard about slave revolts that got 
crushed because some ignorant black person snitched. Like, wow, we're trying to uplift the whole community and you happy because... You getting treated, you ain't you getting less beatings than everybody else? You get an extra piece of chicken on your plate? So you good? Everybody else ain't good. You the only one that's doing all right. And you don't have a problem with watching your brothers and sisters suffer. But then the minute we uprise and say, you know what, this cracker got to die. Then you want to go tell the cracker. So we get killed, beaten, never get off that planet. So, yeah, I believe in order us to succeed as a community, some of us ain't going to make it. Not that I don't want everybody to make it, but the thing is, we keep failing to uplift ourselves because we keep trying to take everybody with us. Y'all need to understand everybody don't have the mindset to go with us. So some people gonna have to get left behind. (laughs) Like it's been said before, uh, all all skin folk ain't kin folk. No, no, no. And for you religious people, the ones that think you're religious? Yeah. I'm not a big Bible person, but I'm pretty sure somewhere in the Bible during the end of times, it says something about God picking one person out of two. So, if God realizes that everybody's not qualified to go to heaven, then how in the world do you figure that everybody, every black person on earth is qualified to become part of the new world? And I say new world, meaning the society that we want. We concentrate, we concentrate too much on trying to fit in. Oh, well, I want social acceptance. Why some white people look Look, stop it. You can't force white people to like you. They see what you have to offer. They take it. They steal it. They tweak it a little bit. Make it theirs. They patent it. Make it legally theirs. And then you sitting up crying because all you wanted to do was be loved. And... Stop crying and whining. You did it to yourself. Time and time again throughout history, we've proven that we are more than capable of competing with our white counterparts. Time and time again, we have proven that not only can we compete, we can excel and surpass them. So I'm not understanding why we have to get their approval to do anything. Uh, Anybody remember Black Wall Street? That was way before my time, but I heard about it. You know, the black black town that was (laughs) self-sufficient and and a bunch of white folks went in there, burnt it to the ground, killed damn near everybody in there. Yeah. That was a testament to our greatness. And what happened? Some jealous haters, haters came in, tore it down. And they ain't apologize yet. They're not going to apologize. Now, I know I got off the beaten path a little bit, but. So what? Anyway, TikTok. The little girl was done wrong. I don't know your name, young lady, but you deserve better. So only thing I can say is next time you or any of your girls or your your homies, your brothers, cousins, 
Y'all want to do something? Don't put it on TikTok. Keep it in your hood. Because the same thing going to happen again. Unless you know some some copyright laws or some lawyers that can they can make sure that your stuff remains your stuff. You know? And that's another thing. Why is it that when black people get a good education and get that that degree, they always want to go run to the white people instead of trying to take up the fight for the black people. Not everybody got money. Not everybody got money. You a whole lawyer. We need practitioners who can defend us with patents. We need practitioners who can who can defend us when it comes to malpractice. We need business lawyers, medical lawyers. You name it, we need it. We need judges, black judges, men or female. I don't care. But we need to strengthen our community for our future because slavery is slavery no matter how you frame it. Okay? That's my opinion on it. To get back to the TikTok thing, because I ain't forget. Uh, no, 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 no. That was just the first incident I heard about. The most recent is the video with the little white girl and a boyfriend. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So she sat up here and decided her and her boyfriend was going to make a video about making a nigger. Hmm. Now, what if that had been flipped around? What if it had been two, two black people talking about making a cracker? Well, you need dough. You need money. Lots of dough. Lots of bread. A uh, little cheese. Cheddar. Yeah. And salt. A good cracker has plenty of salt. Because as you know, crackers are always salty about something. So, that being said, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Okay, so, once again, a white person has put down the black community as long as she can get away with it and give some half ass apology somebody else is going to do it they, it all, it's guaranteed to happen somebody else is going to do it because she, she got away with it but it's deeper than just her she's a child at the end of the day she's still a child and children learn from one or two ways, directly or indirectly. They learn from watching others or they learn because somebody specifically taught them that black people are bad, baby. They're niggers. You don't socialize with niggers. Or they learn indirectly because mommy, daddy, uncles, and aunties are sitting up behind closed doors talking about how they can't stand black people. They wish they go back to Africa. Well, see, there was a little old scientist named George Washington Carver who discovered many things you can do with a plant to, to, to make juices and and foods which led to the discovery of 
well, I should have said led to the use of soybean products for all you prejudiced white vegetarians and vegans. George Washington Carver was a black man and he was a botanist. That's all he did was plants. So, since he was one of the top botanists of his day, your vegetarian ass can thank him. Oh, and for those who love a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich, yes, he didn't create peanut butter, but he was the foundation for what later on would be used, different usages of the peanut to which somebody said, ah, you know what? We can make peanut butter out of this. Yeah. If he hadn't put people on, if he hadn't put white scientists on to the different uses of peanuts, you wouldn't have peanut butter. So yeah. When y'all was in the army and putting down black people and eating your sandwiches and your little compressed food packs. Yeah. Guess who helped develop that technology? A black man. A black scientist. And there were black female scientists that followed in his footsteps. So yeah, TikTok girl. When you go home at night and you lay in your nice comfortable bed surrounded by your white parents remember this no matter what anybody tells you America would not be as great as it once was as it can be or as it ever will be without the influence of black people of black culture so until you can oh I don't know do me a favor build me a pyramid that's going to last the test of time to the end of time itself when you can do that I mean a lot of people will say well that's not fair because we got Stonehenge okay I give you that Stonehenge is, is, is that's nice that's nice Stonehenge is a is very old and Stonehenge is from what I can understand only in one country we we blacks our ancient ancestors have taught many a different cultures outside of Africa how to build pyramids oh and one more thing before I go since we're talking about the ignorance of people outside of uh, black communities. Guess what? Half y'all white people, only half. The rest of y'all, y'all cool. I ain't got no problems with y'all. But half you white people that sit up here and act like, oh, I'm part Indian. Okay. You do realize that Indians used to live in teepees, right? You do realize that it is an uncanny coincidence that teepees are in the shape of, dare I say it, triangles? Triangles resemble pyramids? Pyramids were created by ancient black people? So if you talking about the DNA of a thing, then back to what I said earlier we're not going back to Africa because we built this country our ancestors built the technology that your ancestors stole in order to build this country so if you're talking about the DNA of a thing we have every right to be here and I'm not the only one that thinks that Evidently, there's a video out on YouTube of uh, a well-established black man by the name of uh, Dr. Clark. 
And he agrees. Or I should say, I agree with him. Because he said it before I did. That we have earned the right to be here. If you're going to utilize something that you get from a black person, at least give us credit. Because if you go to college and you copy somebody's work and you don't give them credit for it, you can get a very bad mark on your on your grade. You can get a bad mark that might get you suspended from college. You know? So, I don't understand why you ignorant people think it's okay to go to college and you do these papers, you give credit to the people that whose information you use to write your paper, to write your thesis. But in the real world, you just take people's stuff and don't give them credit at all. You can't have it both ways. Okay? You just can't. You can't have it both ways. So, I'll be watching. And if I see something wrong, I'm going to speak on it. And I hope, my hope is that other people other black people will speak on it too. Let's come together and have a discussion. Let's have a conversation and see if we can't uh, bring something together. Create something new that'll last like a pyramid to the end of time. <laughs>